Alrighty, what is going on everyone? Today we are in Abilene, Texas at Oak Creek Homes and we are getting ready to check out this beauty. Now it does go by several names. I've toured it before from another manufacturer and it was known as the Southern Bell. Today we're going to be calling it the Pearl because that's what it's called. <laughs> no. Anyway, I've toured this home before. Uh, this was actually the first location uh, I ever toured had this similar home. Um, obviously it was known as the Southern Bell and uh, so a little sentimental to me I thought it was uh, the coolest thing ever when I did first tour it and even today I still think it is a super cool floor plan I love this one and it is a monster it is so big and uh, I'll go ahead and get into the specs with you so you kind of have an idea of how big it actually is so this is a three bedroom two bath 1932 a square foot double wide and that wraparound porch wait till you see the kitchen Ooh, it's just got so much going on now i know it is super windy out here uh so i'll i'll expedite this process a little bit uh when it does come to the price uh this home is going to start at approximately two hundred and fifty one thousand dollars of course that may or may not be the price that you pay if you did decide to make this home yours but let's go ahead and hop up onto this porch real quick. This thing is definitely, I could see some swings, some rocking chairs, all different types of stuff. Now this door right here leads into the kitchen and we'll get, uh, we'll get to it. I'll show it to you from inside. Uh, but for now, we'll go ahead and go inside this home. However, if you would like more information on this model or any of the models that we've toured across the country, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. All right. <laughs> it's kind of like, y'all ever seen Gone in 60 Seconds? Where the, the Shelby GT was, uh, what's his face's unicorn, you know what I mean? Uh, so when I did tour this home, it went on to do rather well, quite well actually. I was quite surprised, especially being a, a smaller, younger channel. Um, but then later on, the music that we used was from like the iPhone. So it got dinged a little bit and uh, didn't get pushed out as much uh, just because of the music situation. And then we found it again in Aiken, South Carolina. We went down there for Christmas one year and uh, Jen toured it, but the footage ended up getting all jacked up and stuff, which is unfortunate because it's very rare that we get Jen <laughs> on a video. So from that point, it was, it was super cool that she was gonna be doing it. But anyway, needless to say, here we are again. So let's see if, uh, if this one turns out any better. But enough rambling, let's get into the home. You got the dining room, we've already been through the living room. The dining room is kind of situated in its own little space. You got a pillar over here that kind of separates it from the living room. And then you have all these windows looking out onto that super nice wraparound porch. And then wait till you see this kitchen. It is gorgeous. You got the coffered ceiling, some nice rustic, pennant lights hanging down over the top of this great big island. It has tons of storage going all the way around it. Now I don't think, let's test it. I don't think they're soft closed, but I'm sure that's something that you could upgrade to if you wanted to. Just a huge island though. You get all the work done on this thing. You even got some cabinets on this side. And then this is the door that leads out onto the porch. So if you wanted to cook and then go out there and enjoy your, your food, you could definitely do that. Then on this side, well, you have on the, the whole kitchen, it's like an L-shaped kitchen, uh, but you've got these nice floating shelves, which is cool. You got these pipes. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty stout in terms of what you could hold on there. But I mean, you also have tons of cabinets going all the way around this kitchen as well nice kind of bird cage pennant lights on this side three big windows looking out towards the front of the home right here above your apron sink got the dishwasher next to that and then tons of cabinets got the stove the range hood 
Got this nice tin up here, kind of adding to that kind of, that whole like farmhouse vibe. You know what? This is actually cool. So, me and Jen, I don't I don't know where we're at in the process. Maybe it didn't go through. Maybe it did. I don't know when I'm gonna put this home up. Um, we are under contract on a home, and it is an old farmhouse on like 20 acres. It's got shiplap in the kitchen, and we were wanting to redo kind of just the kitchen countertops, uh, you know, the appliances and the sink and stuff. And we weren't sure, because we wanted to do like a butcher block with a live edge, and it has the shiplapping back behind the counter, so there's no backsplash. But here, we weren't sure what it would look like, but it actually looks pretty neat uh, as a backsplash. I'm not sure if that's what we'll end up going with, but, once everything finalizes, I don't want to jinx it too much, you know what I mean? But, uh, oh my goodness, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous home. It's actually, uh, it was built in like 1885, and then added on, has a nice addition to it and everything. Um, so we're kind of excited about that. Ooh, excited to show it to you guys, um, and then just tell you all our plans for it and that stuff. Anyway, the one thing that I love about this home is the butler's pantry right here. So you got some more open shelves, kind of wraps around. You can put some crock pots and stuff in here, get all that fun goodness going. Then you've got the back door and this is the utility room. So you've got uh, your water heater, washer dryer hookups, a little bit more uh, cabinetry up above it. And it doesn't quite go all the way up to the ceiling. And then this should be the furnace. And then if you're one of those that's always looking for a place to put the freezer, I'll go ahead and spin you around real quick and uh, show you this little section. So got a little outlet over here, nice big, so you can put a nice chest freezer in there. I think that would be super sharp. All right. Now, going back through the living room, down this hall, you start working towards all of the secondary uh, bedrooms as well as the master bedroom. It's all down this hallway. Uh, but before you get there, you've got this nice little media center so you can sit here and kids can do their homework. And then just off of that, you come to the first of the two secondary bedrooms. I almost thought this one had, uh, for some reason, I was, I was thinking this model had four bedrooms, but it does not. I know I said three in the, in the beginning, but I mean, it does have three. I was just, I remember it just, it's so big, you know what I mean? The home is, it feels so big anyway, that you'd almost expect to have four bedrooms in this thing. I actually just came out of one with, it had the option for five bedrooms. So, but this one's got a nice size closet, nice little walk-in. And then uh, across the hall, you come to the first full bathroom. So you got the single vanity right here with the mirror, another shiplap accent wall, toilet, shower and tub combo. And then some nice built-in linen cabinets. And I love these cabinets, all of them. So if you can see this little piece right here, it's like a little, little handle so you don't need the pulls. Just makes it look a little cleaner. But those have been in all of these Oak Creek homes. Then all the way at the end of the hall, look how big this bedroom is. Huge. Now, as you can see, as you walk into here, um, this is the marriage line right here down the middle where the carpet meets the tile or the linoleum, whatever this may be. Um, I'm sure you could have that done up where it's carpet throughout the whole room um, or no carpet within the room at all. But huge room either way. You got a his and her closet. Nice step-in closet. So you got one right here and one right here. 
And that's cool because you can sit here and put like a dresser right here, or a little TV stand, and it just kind of separates the two closets. You've got two great big windows and then a nice big spot right there. Outlets on either side, put yourself a king size bed in here. You just have all the room. Then you've got the barn doors that open up into this gorgeous ensuite. You got the double raised sinks. You got some built-ins on both sides. We'll only get into one side, but it does have it on both sides. And that goes all the way up to the ceiling. You've got this beautiful soaking tub right here in the middle, kind of like, you know, the statement piece here in this bathroom. Two windows right behind it. You've got this great big walk-in shower tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And then these things, I never noticed how like cool these were. I've been seeing them in quite a bit of these Oak Creek homes and I've seen them in other models too, but I didn't just, I mean, you've got, they're coming out of the bottom, the middle, the top, like water just shooting out of everywhere. And then you still got the, the removable wand. And then behind this door you have kind of a secluded water closet with the toilet and then some more built-ins in here as well. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you do want any more information on this model or Oak Creek Homes, you can find that right there at the top of the description. It'll be the first link. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can filter them down based off of square footage, number of bedrooms, price, state. You can combine all those filters and just find that perfect home for you. And then just like what we're doing right here, you can take the whole tour so you can kind of see what all is in the home. Probably a little less rambling than today's tour, but you know, whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.